very happy to see you here. Welcome. So I want to put you onto something if you have not been put on to it yet. <laughs> Today we're going to make ourselves a beautiful Emla powder hair mask. Emla is the Indian gooseberry and it's very, very beneficial for your health. You can use it for skin, you can use it for to improve your digestion, you can use it to improve your hair, scalp health, many beautiful things. It has a bunch of vitamin C, vitamin E, A, antioxidants, minerals, iron as well. So if you are anemic, you know what to take now. Um, but today specifically, we're going to use Amla on hair. And uh, we are going to make ourselves a nice hair mask that we're going to live on for a little while and I'm going to take you with me to the shower <laughs> to show you how I actually make the paste you know because I add water how liquid it will be what will be the texture I'm going to put it on my scalp and hair I'm going to take you with me I'm going to show you how I leave it on because I have a specific method um, I do not only use a towel I use additional tools to really let it basically get into my scalp, into my skin and hair. I'm going to show you all of that. And I'm interested um, if you have tried it before as well. So I'm going to take you with me and I hope I can motivate you to start using Emla because many women and men as well are using conditioner and just like shampoos and deodorants and other things. They have a bunch of chemicals still, unfortunately, like sulfates and other things. Even if your conditioner or shampoo doesn't have sulfates, it for sure has something else in it. And I actually have switched to a fully natural shampoo since I think, well, five months now. And my hair still gets oily sometimes because it takes a whole while for your hair to get adjusted, for your scalp to get adjusted because we've been using this chemical crap for so long that our skin first needs to release all of these chemicals and oils and so on. But um, I do not use conditioner and I've been using this as my conditioner, as my hair rinse. And today specifically, I'm going to first wash my hair with shampoo and then I'm going to apply the powder mask and then I'm just going to rinse it off with water. So I'm not going to wash my hair after the powder. So why would it be good for your scalp and hair, you're asking? Well, it contains a bunch of great nutrients for your digestion, skin, and your hair as well. It is used in Ayurvedic medicine. It is anti-aging. It has anti-aging benefits. So that's great. It helps as well with pigmentation loss in the hair, as well as with dandruff. So if you got some dandruff problems, we're going to fix that. <laughs> well, you know, I have to a little bit. I'm not perfect. No one is. We, we are all in this together. It also strengthens your hair follicles. It makes your hair grow and get nicely long. So if you're having hair loss or you want to, you know, grow your hair a little bit more, it's very beneficial as well. Provides your scalp with the nutrients. It cleans your scalp. It's really, really great. I would highly recommend it. So I'm just going to show you my hair. It's very oily. It's very, you know, <laughs> it needs to be washed. So I'm going to go wash my hair now. I'm not going to take you with me because I'm just going to, you know, regularly wash my hair with my natural shampoo that I'm having. That are, um, variations of amla you can buy of, in, of the Indian gooseberry that is oil you can buy pieces of the gooseberry as well I personally have the powder because I like to make masks uh, you can make it with oil as well not only with water you can also just strain the powder from the water and then have like basically like a rinse but I really like to put on a mask and leave it on for a whole while so that's like a preference And then we add water and mix it. Lukewarm water, not too cold, but not hot either. You're going to put it on your scalp and hair. I make it uh, more liquidy so you can easily apply it. Helps with pigmentation loss. It also darkens your hair a little bit. 
this is what we got so far i'll add more powder and make it more liquidy this is the texture i'm leaving it more liquidy today welcome back my hair mask is ready to apply my hair is washed let's go so i'm just going to put it on my scalp try to massage it apply it on my hair just like that it gets very very messy that's why do it in the shower i highly recommend that really massaging it into my scalp into my hair <laughs> i tend to get a dry skin also on the scalps so i am massaging it especially on the spot where it can get itchy sometimes you know now let's cover our hair what i use is a trash bag and i just cover my hair with it i fully cover my scalp and it also gets really warm so it's absorbed into the skin excuse me i get hiccups and then I put a towel on top, of course, choose an old towel or like a dark one because it does leave stains. So do not take a light towel, light color towel. But this is what I do. Let me know your methods. It's also, of course, it's plastic. It's very, it is unhealthy, but you can just throw it right away after that or you can put trash in it and throw it, so... Can you see? Easily okay, so can open. This is what it looks like. <laughs> like this, it will keep it warm as well, which I think is good. So, I have left the Anla powder on mask on my hair for one hour. I washed it off, rinsed it off with the water only. That's it. And I blow dried my hair just a little bit so it wasn't completely wet because then I just fully left it out dry and it's still not fully dry while I was recording my first cooking recipe video but um, we're almost there. <laughs> but I love it. I really gotta say if you have dandruff or you just really want to also hydrate, nourish and cleanse your scalp please go for it because the way my scalp is clean like I'm not going to show you but I feel like my scalp has been cleaned so well, it's just insane, very very good, I highly recommend it, let me know what you would like to see next, and uh, have a beautiful day, I hope you enjoy, bye!